Hello and welcome to our video on Active Directory Authentication in Dragit. Setting up Active Directory Authentication is pretty simple and only requires a few steps, so let's jump right in here and take a look. So I'm going to go ahead and start up my Dragit application and log into the system. Next I'm going to go over to my configuration. I'm going to click on User Authentication, which is under the Application Settings section and select Windows Authentication. And here I can turn on Windows Authentication for my help desk technicians and for my self-service end users, one or the other or both. I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Notice it says it was saved successfully. So now I'm gonna go back to my main configuration screen and go into Manage My Technicians. And I'll open up one of my technician accounts here. And notice there is a checkbox here that says Use Windows Authentication. So if I check this box, and then I click here, if I enter the domain slash user ID for this user, then the user will be able to log in using Active Directory authentication. Since I am not on a domain, I can use my local Windows account here. And then I can save this. Now I'll go ahead and log out. And you'll notice that a new link appears down here below the login button. Now, if I'm a user and I've bookmarked my normal track at login page and I come here to log in, I'll see this link down here below. But what you'll notice if you look in the bottom left of my browser window right now is I have my server name slash track it slash login. That is the AD authentication virtual directory here in IIS. So that is the URL that I want to bookmark if I'm going to use this for AD authentication. So the way that link would work is as soon as you hit that site, it would try to use AD authentication to log you in. If it was unable to do so, then it would drop you back to this login form. So I'm going to go ahead and click this link to go to that login page. And what you'll see is TrackIt authenticates me, but because I'm linked to multiple groups, it asks me which group I want to log into. So you notice it already figured out who I am and it asks me which group I want to log into, and I hit login. If I was only assigned to one group, it would just log me in automatically. So for end user authentication for self-service, we go under requesters. We would open up one of our requester accounts, and we will do the same type thing here by checking this box to use Windows authentication, and then typing the domain slash user ID in this box, and then hitting save. Now self-service works the exact same way as the technician login and I will show you here if I go to track it slash self-service you will notice the self-service login now also has this link down here below the login button and if you look at my path down in the bottom left of my browser you'll notice the URL it's using is also self-service slash login so just to recap once I have AD auth set up. If I want to bookmark a page to use AD auth as a technician, I would bookmark this page, server name slash track it slash login. If I want to bookmark the self-service page, it would be self-service slash login. And again, once you hit those, if AD auth fails for some reason, it'll drop you back to the normal track it login screen. That is a quick overview on how to set up AD authentication in Trackit. For more videos in this training series, you can visit our documentation site at docs.bmc.com. If you forget where the documentation is, you can always click the help link in the upper right hand corner inside Trackit. Some other useful resources are the Trackit community, where you can talk with other Trackit users and support representatives about how to get the most out of your product. You can reach that site at community.trackit.com. You can also reach our technical support directly by visiting support.trackit.com. And for general product information, you can always visit trackit.com. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video has been helpful to you.